Hi everyone, today we're going to read Lumpito and the Painter from Spain by Monica Culling and Dean Griffiths. Years ago, there lived a dachshund named Lump. His name was pronounced Lump, which means rascal in German. Lump lived in Rome with a big dog and a photographer named David. Lump and the big dog were not best friends. At mealtimes, Lump ate quickly so that big dog would not gobble up his food. At bedtime, Lump slept with one eye open because he was afraid of what the big dog might do. Even playtime was not fun for Lump. Big dog rolled him around just like a football. One day, Lump woke up to a wonderful news. Come, Lump, called David. We're off to meet a famous painter. David packed his car with cameras and film. There was only room for one small dog. Loom chased his tail in excitement. Goodbye, big dog. The car doors opened like a gull in flight. Loom hopped in and the travelers took off. They flew to the south of France on winding hilly roads. Loom's ears flapped in the breeze. He was as happy as a lark. At the beautiful villa, a man burst out of the doors to greet them. He was Pablo Picasso. Buenos dias, amigo, he called. Welcome. Loom caught the painter's gaze. His eyes were dark as a desert night, fierce as a bull's, and warm like the Spanish sun. The villa's doors flew open again and out bolted a big dog. Loomp stood his ground. He was not going to let another big dog push him around. The dog, whose name was Yan, lay on his back. He wanted to be friends. The two dogs ran into the garden to play in the tangled grass. Loomp sniffed one of the stone goats. Surprise, the goat sniffed back and gave him a friendly nudge. Lumpito has met Esmeralda, roared the painter. Lump liked the sound of his new name, Lumpito. It had a happy ring to it. The painter's wife, Jacqueline, called out, La comida, lunch. The smell of fish filled Lumpito's nostrils. His tummy growled. He was so excited he could hardly breathe. Food, and there was no big dog to steal one bit of it. Lumpito ate and ate. He picked the bones clean, and so did Picasso. Picasso lay on the ground beside Lumpito. Things look different from down here, he said, stroking Lumpito's long body. Such a beautiful shape, said the painter dreamily. If Lumpito had been a cat, he would have purred. supper, Picasso gave Lumpito a special gift, a plate with a drawing on it. Lumpito sniffed the plate, but it didn't smell special. Even so, Picasso's joy made the little dog wag his long dog tail. Night wrapped the villa in stars. Everyone slept. Lumpito and Picasso did not. They stood looking at the moon, listening for the night to share its secrets. In the morning, Lumpito saw a white rabbit in the room. It did not smell like a rabbit, but Lumpito raced toward it and grabbed its ears. It didn't feel like a rabbit, but Lumpito shook it and chewed. He tore the rabbit to shreds. Picasso roared with laughter. Lumpito loves my paper rabbit. Lumpito smelled meat on the breakfast table and waited patiently beside Picasso's chair. I think Lumpito has found a new home, said David. Rome is not a happy place for him. I travel too much and Big Dog is not Lumpito's friend. Picasso picked Lumpito up and the long dog ate from his plate. Lumpito will stay with me, agreed Picasso. Lumpito was happy. He ate all of his meals with Picasso. He curled on the floor next to Esmeralda and slept with both eyes closed and playtime with Yan was always fun. Lumpito did not only inspire drawings, he also found his way into several paintings. Picasso's large painting called Las Meninas, or the Maids of Honor, was based on an old Spanish painting. The original has a big dog in it. 
In Picasso's version, you will find a funny black dog with perky little ears. That's Loomp. The end.